Hey there, travelers. Where does an orca hear its music? <laughs> the orchestra. <laughs> and how much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. <laughs> it's rich. <laughs> well, actually, that's not entirely true. A male polar bear typically weighs between 770 and 1500 pounds and can even exceed that. They also range in size, but from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail, a polar bear can measure to about eight feet tall. And if they stand upright, they can even reach 10 feet. And polar bears wouldn't want to break the ice because they love it. They live primarily in the circumpolar north, also known as the Arctic. They're found in Canada, which holds about 60% of the total population, Alaska, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. Polar bears live on one of the planet's coldest environments and depend on a thick coat of insulated fur, which covers a warming layer of fat. They even have fur on the bottom of their paws, which provides great protection from cold surfaces and good grip on ice. A bear's white coat provides camouflage in the surrounding snow and ice. Well, maybe I should move to the Arctic and blend in. But under that fur, they have black skin. Better to soak up the sun's warming rays. The coat is made up of two layers. There's an outer layer of guard hairs that stick together when wet. This outer layer protects the dense, thick undercoat of fur. When a polar bear's on land, water rolls right off the guard hairs. Even though a polar bear's fur looks white, it's actually made up of clear, hollow tubes filled with air. Dum -dum, I knew those darn polar bears didn't have white hair like mine. Scarring a residue on the fur can actually make that white fur appear cream, yellow, or pink in the Arctic light. Now you may be asking yourself, Trav, why do they live in this dreadful weather? They have a favorite food, and it's seals. In search of seals, they'll frequently visit areas of shifting and cracking ice. They'll also stalk ice edges and breathing holes. Polar bears use primarily two hunting methods when searching for their favorite food. The first hunting technique is known as the stalk hunt. During a stalk, the polar bear picks up the scent of a seal and tactfully moves closer to it. The seal may be at a breathing hole, a snow lair, or have even hauled itself onto the ice. The second technique is known as the still hunt. Now during a still hunt, a polar bear will locate an active breathing hole that a seal is using. The bear will lie in wait next to the hole for up to 50 minutes, waiting for that critical time when the seal will pop its head out for air. At this moment, the polar bear will lunge head first into the hole, grabbing the seal. Now something really cool about polar bears is that they're highly intelligent and really playful. In the wild, two or more polar bears can form friendships that last years. These bears will wrestle and they'll even feed and travel in groups together. Individual polar bears have been observed sliding downhill and across ice for no reason except for the fun of it. Best friends! Now unlike brown bears and black bears, polar bears don't hibernate and only pregnant females will den over the winter. Females den by digging deep into the snow drifts, which provides protection and insulation from those arctic elements. They give birth in winter and usually to twins. Young cubs will live with their mother for 28 months, learning those necessary survival skills for life up north. Ma! I'll move out when I'm 29 months! Oh jeez. The females are known to aggressively protect their young during this time. Don't want to mess with mama bear. The IUCN currently lists the polar bear as vulnerable and they desperately need your help. Sea ice is melting earlier and forming later, which is resulting in less hunting time for polar bears. Many scientists believe that polar bears could be gone from their natural habitat within 100 years. But there's many things that you could do to help. Organizations such as Polar Bear International and the World Wildlife Fund are doing incredible conservation work and are also a great resource for polar bear information. Both of the organization's websites are posted in the info below, as well as on our website. And woohoo! February 27th is Polar Bear Awareness Day. Make sure to tell all of your friends and family of the new polar bear knowledge you have to raise awareness for this majestic creature. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. Today's episode was suggested by one of my favorite teachers, Mrs. Villar. Thanks! If you have an animal or a conservation effort you want to learn more about, email us at asktravstravels at gmail.com. If you like the video, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you want to learn a little bit more about polar bears, make sure to visit our Facebook, Twitter, and even our website, travstravels.org. Keep on traveling.